to name a few. Their coaches, their developmental coaches, must be mad as well because we're still the same little island that produced them. So why can't we produce the best footballers in the world? It is because of history, which I won't go into today, but I can tell you, it is because of our history why we're the fastest people on the planet. It is because of our history why we're one of the most tenacious and creative nations in the world. And if we incorporate that into a sport that is using more so now than ever, speed, intelligence, and skill, why shouldn't we be the best? Why shouldn't Jamaica has it, its own football culture? Why are we all divided? We will lead the charge at Vera Phoenix, and we will win this Premier League, and we will go on to win the CONCACAF championships. <laughs> we will have the best coaches, will have the best system of development. And one of the things that actually endeared me to this, this project was the fact that there's a B field. A field that we can develop for the community to play and where I can go over there and sneak and watch and see where the talent is and I can pluck it out and sharpen it and polish it up and create the diamond and put them over into the, the team over here and still have good surfaces. The biggest problem we have with, with surfaces in Jamaica is that most teams only have one field. And that field is being used by everybody. Schools, the youth teams, Premier League team, Harborview, for example. So it's very difficult to keep that field maintained at a pristine level and therefore be able to get the best performances out of the, the players. At Vare, we have that opportunity. We want the people of Clarendon to come out and cheer and to be fans and have their jerseys on and, and, and screaming and chanting and believing. Because whether you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're right. Because what you believe that matters. Show me your faith without works and I shall show you my faith by my works. Because faith without work is dead. I'm grateful. Believe me, I'm not well right now, but I'm very grateful for this legacy. I'm grateful to be able to ensure that the, the years of my life that I have left, I'm able to pass on like the great men of Jamaica before me, Mark Mendel, Love you, Father. Jackie Walters, love you. Chongi, Chong Fa, love you. David Wagahunt, love you. It is going to happen. And we will not just win the Premier League, but we're going to win it with a brand of football that is consistent with our genetics. We will be who we are designed to be. We will show that it's not just Leon or Whisper alone. It's not a fluke. It's not just Kemar Reed. By the way, Kemar Reed is a Jamaican that has been developed in this country at Phoenix. One of the top players, I believe, in the world. And because he didn't get the opportunities in the national team, he has now signed and plays for Malta's national team at Wembley. He's a top scorer in the Maltese Premier League. And he is my son. So, I thank you for this opportunity. I'd like to see Shelley speak. I'd like to have Laura speak about what Laura will bring to the table, which is so significant and important. Because if a player does not know that he's to shake hands firmly, look in the eyes and be confident, how his grooming is, how he carries himself on and off the pitch, he will not get the success. We will not have the branding and the support that we need from
corporate world, not just corporate Jamaica, corporate world. The Nikes, the, the admirals, the, 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 the top branding in the world. We will not have that for these players. And it's important. And here's a, the, the idea that I have to put out to you today. If we had 20 Leon Baileys making the amount of money that Leon Bailey can make and has made, coming out of the Premier League, coming out of the communities, it would seriously affect the positive growth of our economy and it could eradicate Jamaica's poverty. This is why I do what I do and this is why I don't care what anybody wants to say about me. I have a job to do and I'm going to do it the correct way. Thank you. See, when I tell you, Craig, just make me start get goosebumps. It's, it's not a joke. Um, again, he would have mentioned a few things. And for me, just quickly, I'll highlight um, one that stood out. And again, it seems like there's a greatness thread that uses that word, um, legacy. So Chris Williams, he would have mentioned legacy. Lothan Cousins would have mentioned legacy. Craig Butler has mentioned legacy, and I guess everybody who is here looking on um, needs to understand that you are a part of the legacy building and creation that is about to happen. So thank you for that. Thank you for stepping up to the plate, Team Phoenix. As was mentioned, um, it's now going to be called Vir Phoenix United. So that's also a massive transformation. And as you know, that, that merger, that partnership is always evident, you know, it starts from the name all the way down to the ethos of the institution. So thank you for that and thank you for believing in local football, believing in the talent, having that grand vision, being able to articulate it and also be fearless about it. You know, we, we appreciate that and, you know, the, 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 the kids who are looking on, they should feel proud knowing that there is real opportunities for growth and development for them and them families and the nation. You said that you wanted who to speak? Both? Both women? Shelly? Shelly doesn't look like she wants to speak. Laura doesn't look like they want to speak. All right, so let's get to the signing part of it. Oh, Laura, all right. Welcome, Laura Butler. She's the head of um, talent development and player welfare, all these titles. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Hill. Members of the head table, uh, members of the media, specially invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you. It is indeed a pleasure to be here to support my brother, Mr. Butler, to support my sister, Shelly Ann, um, Shelly Fr Shelly Ann McFarlane. So we call her Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Maybe there is something to say because she, she is going to be fantastic. She is one of the best administrators I've ever come across. And I've worked with organizations all over the world. I'm based in Texas now, but I come home fairly often. Uh, the Phoenix program has been going on for over 20 years. A lot of people don't know the hard work and the sacrifice and the effort that goes behind what Craig, his vision. And as a family, we support him. And, you know, I ask for the media and everyone here to continue to support. It's not easy. It's not, it hasn't been an easy road. It still won't be. And there's still a lot for us to accomplish. Uh, my role is to really empower our young men and our professional players to have that confidence that, as you heard, no matter who they're playing with, no matter who they're meeting, they're able to articulate their thoughts in a very good way so people can understand whether or not they're in and out of patois. That's a big part of who we are. But able to conduct themselves in a confident matter, manner wherever they go. And that is significantly important. What I love most about it is the collaborations. I mean, we can accomplish far more together than alone. Alone, it's a harder struggle and it's painful. And I've seen Craig do that. I mean, we support him 100%, but he's really the one out there um, putting his health and everything at risk. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate where things are. And talk about a legacy, I have to hold it together because legacy is such a powerful thing. There are more things coming, a lot of things coming that will transform not just football, but sports in Jamaica, in the Caribbean. A lot is coming and more will come later on as we get everything together. But this is a fantastic move, 
and to all of you, everybody who continues to make the sacrifice, the administrative team, all the members who have seen this as something very helpful. Christopher Williams, I've grown, grown up like he's my big brother. And so um, having such great experience and knowledgeable people around to guide us, to support us, and for us to use our expertise and experience is really going to make a difference. But most importantly, we cannot do it without you. We simply cannot. And I think if we focus on the positives, I keep telling people what I love most about going to the stadium or any event, sporting event, it doesn't matter who you're sitting beside, what color they are, what they have, what they don't have, where they come from, everybody passing on the peanuts, passing down the drinks. Why? Because we're focused on a common goal. What happens on that track, what happens on that field. We need to remain focused on the goal, taking Jamaica to where it absolutely can be, transforming lives through our players, because we know when our players go over and they're able to do well, they're taking care of their families, they're making our country proud, and they're taking care of generations and generations. So that's a big part of nation building. So I wanna thank you, Craig, for being a good big brother, for being such a leader, for being such, uh, so transformational, for fighting through the tough times, and for keep fighting through the tough times. And God has a bigger plan for all of us and I know he'll continue to watch over us, protect us, and guide us as a team and as a country. So thank you all. All right, there you have it, Laura Butler. Um, I don't want to have her on any team that exists. You know, she just sound very powerful and, you know, believable. Um, all right, so over to the, oh, sure. Come, no, yes. You sure? All right. <laughs> uh. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, head table. Oops, I'm so sorry. Um, members of the media, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time, for coming to this quite a prominent event. Um, we are so looking forward to the partnership that we have with Veer United and Phoenix, so Veer Phoenix United. And uh, as an administrator and president now, I guess, of this, <laughs> um, you know, we're normally working behind the scenes. We're behind, you know, the desk, shuffling the papers, getting everything done, um, you know, creating our checks and balances to make sure that everything is done efficiently. We have, you know, we're, we presently, I just came out of doing a lot of visas for our players that we have now that are traveling and uh, it's been a hard arduous process but also to jump into this new venture that we have here uh, we are so looking forward to it i uh, would look forward to working with the the Vera united team to get everything done efficiently and you know to operate you know seamlessly you know through the transition and we look forward to building our family here in in clarendon we love community involvement. <laughs> Phoenix is all about community involvement. We are all aunties and uncles and moms and dads to everybody on the pitch. And I hope that atmosphere is brought into the, this new venture, we are Phoenix United. We love the community, we love the support, we love to see the people in the stands. And you know, I'm really looking forward to it. Really, I mean, it's not a far drive from Kingston, so that's a bonus, you know, because um, traveling, doing administrative work, it's not always easy. I try to be there to support, but sometimes there are more pressing issues that if I have no one else to do it, sometimes may not get done. But I just want to say um, thank you to Mr. Cousins, his mom, Miss Cousins, is she? Yeah, I'm so mommy sorry, cousins. Mommy Cousins, <laughs> and to Mr. Butler, for and Chris Willie and Owen, <laughs> for you know bringing us together so that this can be beneficial for both the community, for Jamaica, and hopefully international. Many people don't understand. Phoenix and Mr. Butler has produced some of the. Well, as far as I'm concerned, some of the best, better players. He's not only taught them to fish, but he's taught them how to create lives for families. In Malta especially, 
We have a new number of boys. We, we can name Kemar Reed, but we have Siobhan McLaren, we have Kemu Jackson. They have started their families. They have created an environment that is so much bigger than they could have done in Jamaica. And we're looking forward to that for not just the players from Vera Phoenix United, but all of Jamaica. So I want to thank you for allowing us this opportunity. And uh, we look forward to a wonderful, wonderful ceiling. OK? Sorry? Oh, my name is Shelley McFarlane. <laughs> and right now, I guess I am president of the Veer Phoenix United team. If not, I'm also the administrator of Phoenix All-Stars Football Academy. All right, thank you for coming. All right, that's Shelley McFarlane, as was mentioned. Shelley McFarlane, the head cook and bottle washer for this thing. Um, Again, it's a transitional process, as you'd understand. Justine, thank you for making the transition possible. Um, the legal minds behind ensuring that this is an entity that is sustainable. We're not trying to pop up and you know, make the headlines. We're doing it in a way that makes you know, significant change in the lives and livelihoods of people who are a part of the process. So, now, before we go into the official signing, um, we can ask members of the media, if you want, because um, I know we have some significant and key partners who are here, if you want to ask any question right now, quickly. Um, if not, we can just go into the signing, and thereafter, you can do it um, individually. So, after? All right. So. I like this, I like this group. You see, we've, we've selected the right people. By the way, make sure that you're always here, you know, make sure, because you are a part of history. Um, you're going to get the scoop first, right, MG? Yes, you're going to get the scoop first. And, you know, we, we, we thank all the members of the support cast that ensure that this is possible. My members of our PFJL team, um, we keep doing it behind the scenes just to ensure that we are building an ecosystem. So, without further ado, I'll ensure that the signing of the agreement happens. Um, I see a nice, lovely pen coming.